So it looks like that you guys are ready for another Call of Duty game and presumably also the friendly UAV online and guys say no more we got another Call of Duty game to talk about these seconds are gonna be putting up Black Ops Gulf War all I'm hoping is that these seconds add a pausing button in zombies Bruh. that's where my standards are <laughs> like the video please like this video let's go for two likes on the video guys subscribe if you're brand new and let's see what this uh, joint is all about Roll. today we're talking about the latest rumors and leaks regarding the next call of duty zombies developed by treyarch rumored to come out at the end of the year as part of black ops gulf war we already know a fair amount of information from leaks such yeah. as round based zombies returning and the potential of there being two round based maps on yeah. launch but today we know even and there might also be guys uh, there might also be two friendly you know i had to do it i had to do it. more specific okay. details such as new round based zombies maps details and leaks and rumors of another game mode coming besides round based let's jump oh, straight shit. into Wait, it what? but i'd hate for you to another miss one? out on any future leaks and rumors for this game so be sure another to subscribe one. with the bell to not miss a single thing jumping straight in new code that relates to treyarch's next game were found within the files of modern warfare 3 as they're both developed on the same engine under cod hq these strings were shared on twitter by at alan the third 90 and the code in question no. relates to visual effects that you'll see within gameplay in zombies there are a lot of new details within here but one of the biggest to start off is the fact okay so biggest to start off wow now that's cool and all that we're getting leaks but like uh can a brother perhaps get to know if there's gonna be a pausing button in the game or Bruh. not i really want to know and i hope like okay jokes aside though i hope they have a zombie screw and actual zombie maps man come on dog like like that there agree. is coding for the ether extractor rockets landing as well as a reward rift appearing pulsing and despawning which are things we see currently within modern warfare zombies now we wouldn't usually see the ether extractor or the reward rift inside what? of round based zombies so this indicates that there is a chance that besides just round based zombies coming in this year's game there is a chance that we will also see outbreak 2.0 coming to black ops gulf war what? which is going to likely be a hybrid between outbreak modern warfare zombies and even potentially the objective based gameplay seen within vanguard zombies wrl outbreak wrl i actually to be honest though i didn't mind it in black ops cold war i think it was a good addition i just hated the fact that like zombies in black ops cold war is probably the last good one but is it as good as black ops 3 absolutely not i enjoyed the black ops cold war gameplay the zombies gameplay but but you know it still lacked the feeling of zombies per se right no zombies crew and the maps objectively feeling like multiplayer in the very beginning it did not but later on it started to feel like and i kind of dipped out but but I really hope dedicated zombie maps, zombies crew, a pausing button. <laughs> Me crying out here for a pausing button. Can you actually believe it? We are in the year 2024 and we are asking them about a pausing button. What is going on? This is all happening on US soil. Mr. President, you need to wake up and do something immediately. As a brown man, I demand Mr. President to do something right now, bro. All part of an additional gameplay mode that is separate from round based zombies and will live alongside it. Now, the leaker we're talking about, Alan the Third, has presented the context of the Ether Extractor rockets and the reward rifts being within Treyarch's next game, but that doesn't necessarily confirm that we will be seeing an outbreak style mode. Yeah. But the context of it definitely points to that looking like a realistic thing mm. oh, oh, I'm shaking. I that am could shaking. happen. I, am I don't shaking. think Treyarch are just going to abandon the gameplay style we've seen with Modern Warfare Zombies because clearly it works and it's popular <laughs> and it is an evolution from Cold War's Outbreak. An Outbreak was a really successful mode for Treyarch in Cold War Zombies oh so God. it's definitely oh God, something they're just going to want oh, to evolve oh, and shaking. change in future titles just like we've seen Round Base evolve but it definitely shouldn't be prioritized over Round Base. Round Base should always be the number one priority but if they Absolutely. can balance both both without either mode being affected then i'm personally all for extra content yeah. this topic is I, I okay would you rather like uh, outbreak and zo uh, normal uh, round based zombie maps or would you would uh, prefer like 10 normal round based maps and no outbreak now right now we're hearing two round base and outbreak i i wouldn't mind outbreak it's just that i i i hope that the maps that we're getting are quality i feel like that two maps only that's like that's kind of lame right now but I, I wish it was three at, at the very least but if these two maps are actually good and outbreak is good storyline's good zombie screw pausing button like i said Bruh. and good weapons uh, it's good for training zombies good for camping as well with your friends and and overall it's good and fun 
then absolutely I wouldn't mind like outbreak on the side as well though 100 110% been discussed for the last day or two within the community because leakers have also found models that are going to be in Trux's upcoming game which are labeled the same as the dark ether hubs that you would see within Vanguard's objective based gameplay uh, with the wrong. wrong it's van garbage bro file name literally being labeled as dark ether hub which made people assume that perhaps the oh, gameplay style of Vanguard bro, zombies like... could be returning I don't personally think so I think this is Treyarch oh. reusing assets because they already created brand new assets for that Modern Warfare engine for Vanguard. Their upcoming game isn't going to be on a Black Ops engine. It's going to be on the Modern Warfare engine. Man. So it just makes sense for them to repurpose what they've already created. But one of the other weirder finds... Yo, WRL guys, like... Uh, man, I wish it was not the Modern Warfare engine. Bro, like, all the Call of Duty games feeling the same and that kills the novelty... Uh, that kills the novelty. Back in the days, you had Black Ops feeling different, Modern Warfare feeling different, and every year it kind of felt fresh. You, you feel what I'm saying? But now it's like every game menu is the same, every game feels the same graphically. It, it got an, it has gotten inferior in comparison to Modern Warfare 19 as well. So I don't, uh, yeah, man, I would take the Black Ops engine. I hope it's a Black Ops or 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 a Modern Warfare engine, but modified to Black Ops, right? That I wouldn't mind either, but is that part of the effects for Cortefex's skeleton exists labeled for Treyarch's next game as well. For those of you Rare. that don't know, Cortefex is the overall Dark Aether god that Us? was the villain throughout Vanguard Zombies and is very important to the new Dark Aether narrative. At the end of Vanguard, he is perished forever, so I don't see him returning, but either Treyarch are reusing effects from that character within their next game, or they might actually have Cortefex reappear somehow within the next Zombies game. I think it's He's highly unlikely, but there's He's every chance reappear. that could be like a whenever they run out of a uh, run out of ideas they actually bring it back you know they bring the ogs back so apparently like this sucker is gonna come back super too. cool no flashback doubt. that could incorporate court effects crazy enough we have new details about a wonder weapon that is going to feature oh, within the new oh, round based shit. zombies As within this coding list there are multiple references about a weapon that causes new enemy skin to new start Ryan. bubbling and the only time we've seen a wonder weapon do that is all the way back in zetsubo noshima with yeah. the kt4 wonder yeah. weapon so we might be seeing the K- No, so how many of you guys actually played Zetsubo no Shima? I remember in the very beginning, the map was kind of buggy and glitchy because we had rumors around that time which turned out to be true. You're rocking, roll, appreciate you subscribing, man. Welcome on in, my guy. But because in the very beginning, when Zetsubo no Shima came out, we had rumors that they were making Zombie Chronicles Zombie Chronicles DLC 5. If you were around that time, man, that was one of the best time to be like a Call of Duty Zombies fan. I believe uh, the gaming revolution. He made a video. He says that 100% not clickbait. Uh, something like that in the title. A lot of people called him out. A lot of people went crazy at the guy. And he was saying, bro, just wait for it. Just wait for it. And a year later, we ended up getting. And uh, essentially, the story was that when Zetsubo no Shima came out, they were working on DLC 5. So this is why they couldn't put like a lot of their effort into Zetsubo. They still did, but like they couldn't like, you know, fix the bugs and or squash the bugs rather. And uh, Zetsubo no Shima, looking back, it was a pretty good map. I mean, it was an amazing map in comparison to all the trash that we get nowadays. Nowadays, we don't even get zombie maps, guys. It's just rehashed Warzone crap and multiplayer crap. Back then, we were getting, like, uh, actual dedicated maps with zombie screw, though. Times are really, really crazy. I hope they... And we're talking. We're not talking about an indie company either, guys. Like, this is a billion-dollar corporation. They have merged with Mi uh, Microsoft, so trillion, bro. With that T, T for Tommy. Trillion dollars. Can a brother get two pennies? Nah, bro. Brother doesn't. You should not be asking them for two pennies. You should be asking them for two billion. Yeah. You should be asking them for two billion right now because two billion for them is like two pennies, dog. We got Daniel. Okay, back to back. Yo, Daniel, thank you for subscribing, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you, KT4 back return back. or something that is really similar in its effect to the KT4. You also know the existence of a brand new mini enemy type, which is going to be a tentacle dog because there is a string for a visual effect for when a tentacle dog is being bubbled up by this new wonder weapon. So with the context of there being a tentacle dog, that really <laughs> plays a lot in my head on what on earth the setting could be for this zombies map for a tentacle dog to exist. Love yeah. to know your thoughts down below in yeah. the comment section and, and guys uh, re recently we had a ton of new leaks for the next black ops game and uh, this uh, he was talking about zombies but in this video we talk about the multiplayer leaks as well <laughs> click on this video on the screen and you know what multiplayer leaks are looking really good click on it and i'll see you right there